Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. If you've followed me long enough, you know that I'm not a damselfish fan. I don't like them in a reef tank, and I don't even like them in a fish only with live rock saltwater tank. But do damsels really have that bad of a rap? Is the reputation really warranted? Does one apple have to spoil the whole bunch? The answer is no, because I recently put five damselfish in my reef. Wait, what? Because I recently put five damselfish in my reef. You heard me right. My reef is now home to not one, but five damselfish. Which ones and why on earth did I put five damselfish in my reef? I'll get to that once we understand damselfish as a family. Damselfish belong to the family Palmacendridae, which is home to over 300 species of damsels. Here's a cool fact about damsels that I recently discovered. Some species of damsels actually live in brackish water. The family Palmacendridae includes chromuses and clownfish, so when you see Nemo, know that he's related to a damselfish. I won't hold it against you, Nemo. Damsels come in a variety of colors, sizes, and temperaments, and are quite hardy. So hardy that back in the day, we used to cycle tanks with damselfish. Here's the thing about the advice of using a damselfish to cycle your tank. It's really old advice, and it's really bad old advice. See, back in the day, we didn't have legit bacteria in a bottle products like Fritz Turbo Start 9 and Dr. Tim's one and only nitrifying bacteria. Back then, you had to put a fish in the tank to provide an ammonia source to get your tank through the three-week cycle. Damselfish are really hardy, therefore, they can survive the cycling of your tank. Nowadays, since we have bacteria in a bottle products that actually work, no need to put the damselfish in there because you simply not need it. And once you put the damselfish in your tank, you're very likely never going to get them out. Therefore, forget the advice about cycling your tank with a damselfish. It's out of date, it's bad advice, just ignore it. The Sergeant Major Damsel is the biggest of the damsels and can reach eight inches when fully grown. The Neon Velvet Damsels also gets quite large, up to six inches, and while they are colorful while they are young, when they age they turn completely black and get quite mean. The Domino or Snowball Damsel also can get quite large, up to four inches, and their reputation fits most damselfish. Mean. During my dives around the world, I've observed these guys hanging in and around sea anemones, which is quite a cool sight to see. Continuing with the mean side of the damsel world, the Blue Devil Damsel. If you put one of these in your reef, you'll really regret it as they are aggressive and they'll even bite your hand. While the iconic three and four stripe damsels stay small in size, they can be quite mean as well. I had these guys in my very first saltwater tank and that was probably the first big mistake ever made in the saltwater tank hobby. Now don't throw in the towel on damsels just yet, there are peaceful damselfish. The friendly side of the damsel world is the genus Cristera. These damsels are colorful and much more friendly than the damsels I just covered. The Azure, Starkeys, Yellowtail, Springer, and Roland damsels are all in this genus. The Azure is a well-mannered and colorful damsel that can be purchased kept bred. The Yellow and Starkeys are the most aggressive of the genus, and while they are pretty, I personally won't risk them in my tank. The Springer's damsels are rumored to decimate flatworms in a reef, and once they get mature, they get territorial and can bite your hand if you get into their space. Up to this point, all this talk of friendly damsels has left down a fish that's new to me and new to my reef, the Roland's damselfish. When I first spied these guys on Live Aquarius Diver's Den, I was immediately taken by the white, black, and yellow colors. I thought, well, yeah, but these guys are damselfish. Then when I went to Terence Fugazi's house and saw some in his reef, it was game over. I loved watching these little guys in their own little territory. See, they staked down about a one cubic foot area of his reef, and they all stayed put in their little territory. They were sprinkled throughout his reef, and they didn't move around much. Then Terrence explained to me that he's had these guys for a while, and they were model citizens. I headed over to Live Aquarius Diver's Den, and I picked up five of the Roland's Danzels. These guys are now in my reef, and they're doing really well. At first, they were harassed by the other fish in my tank, and they certainly didn't fight back like other damselfish. I love watching their shy behavior, and I can walk around my reef and enjoy a moment at each one's home. If you like what you see, these are the damsels to add to your reef. In a larger tank, you can add several. Just make sure you follow these pro tips. Pro tip number one, add the Roland's damsels last. Once you're done adding all the other fish in your tank, then add the Roland's damsels. Pro tip number two, Add all your Roland's damsels at the same time. Get as many as you want, quarantine them, then put them in your reef together as a group. Pro tip number three, 
As with any damselfish, these guys should be the only damsels in your reef. Don't add other types of damsels. Adding a clownfish is okay, but not other types of damselfish. While I still recommend avoiding most damselfish, the Rollins damselfish have won me over and gotten themselves a ticket out of jail. Good job on being the exception to the rule, guys, and welcome to my reef. I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I'll catch you in the next episode.